Hi, I'm Christine Fox with Volpe Beauty, and I'm here on Doers TV today to share with you a Kim Kardashian-inspired makeup look. And I'm here with Marissa Martinez, and she's going to be our lovely model for the afternoon. And Marissa's already come today with a her moisturizer on. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with our Motives Foundation Primer. And you just need about the size of a pea. One little squirt, and we're good there. And then we're going to rub it between the first three fingers and tap it into her face. Pat it in gently. And you want to cover as much as you can through the nose, thank you, under your eyes and on her forehead. If you have a little leftover, you could put it under your chin as well and down your neck. And we're going to let that set for a couple seconds. And while that's doing that, our next step is going to be our Motives Concealer. And what I'm using today is our Cream Concealer in Dark. And the reason I chose this is because of Marissa's skin tone. This is going to complement her, and it, what it'll do is it'll hide any dark circles or any other pigment that you need to erase out. What I'm going to do is use the, one of our brushes, get a skinny one here, and I'm actually just going to scoop out some of that and put it on my hand. And the heat from my hand is going to go ahead and melt that in, and it's going to be easier to spread on her face. So I would say our primer's good right about now. I'm going to use my fingers and look up for me. I'm just going to pat it into her eyes. And I'm going to put it on kind of like a mask. So I'm going to come down her cheeks just a little bit. Careful right there. And you're going to put it all the way up to the lash line, taking some good care, and going into the inner corner of the eye. OK, you want to pat it on nice and neat. And the more I pat, the more this is blending into Marissa's skin. And then as I go down, I'm gonna blend it actually down into her cheeks. There we go, we're gonna go ahead and work on the other side. And I put it on just lightly and move it in. And you'll get a lot on your hands, so you don't wanna stick that directly in and straight under your eye. You wanna kind of pull it down and then put it in. There we go. And it almost makes a mask effect. And that's kind of the appearance we're going for. What I'm actually going to do is go over the bridge of the nose when I'm done as well. OK. We're just going to go right over the nose, maybe a little bit right between her eyebrows. And then I'm going to use this as a base for my eyeshadow, just a little bit, because I'm going to use a darker eyeshadow base, but I just want to do up by her eyebrow bow, her eyebrow bow, and the other side here. And that just covers where you get your waxing or where you get your threading done for your eyebrows. Okay, at this time you want to look back and see is there anything that I want to cover up? Is there any imperfections or any pigmentation that you want to cover? I usually go under the nose a little bit. Excellent. There we go. Perfect. Let me go ahead and get something to wipe my hands off with. Don't want to put Marissa covered in this concealer. Our next step is going to be foundation. And what I'm going to use today on her is our Motives Dual Perfection. And what I like about it is if you use it with a water and the sponge that it comes with, or even any makeup sponge, you can put it on as light as you want for an easy out the door look. But what we're going to do today is we're going to put this on with a foundation brush. And that's going to get some good coverage. And it's going to go on perfectly. You'll see what we're doing. What we're trying to do is match actually her collarbone. So we're going to pull the color down just a little bit into her neck and then into her collarbone. And what I'm going to start right here under the eye, right on the actual cheeks. And we're going to put the brush in and out, pat it off. I'm not stabbing the makeup with the brush. I'm just going to blend it in really well. And you can see it's already disappearing on her skin. And I'm going to go ahead later and use a powder under her eyes. But for now, let's go ahead and finish up with our foundation. This is blending really well into your skin, Marissa. It looks great. OK. There we go, get the chin done. Come back onto the other side. 
And what this foundation brush is actually going to do is get into any crevices you have. It, it's a great filling tool. So even if you have larger pores, you can just take a better time, a little slower at it. And what I'm doing is I'm patting downward to make sure that I'm not picking up any of that baby fine hair. Let me get under your nose there. Thank you. Great. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of a circular motion, and that's what we're going to do down towards. And look up for me a little bit higher. Just going to fill it in a little bit. And this is really matching your skin well, but I'm going to brush it down just a smidge. I've got really nothing on the brush except for the excess. So I'm going to blend that in really good, and then we're going to go back up. A spot that everyone forgets is their temples. All the ladies forget it, and then close over by your ear. So let's get that filled in. And then also, if you've had your number, see, so you just recently had your eyebrows threaded, right? Yes. So sometimes your skin color is a little different, so you want to make sure you get that in. And we'll fix the eyebrows, so we can put color on them now, and we'll take that off in a little bit. So let me pull your hair back, and if you could look down for me a little bit. Put your, um, yep, exactly. Okay. Get over here. And now what I'm going to do is, let's see, let me take a step back and look. All right. Now what I want to do is go ahead and put my loose powder on. And for Marissa, normally I choose a loose powder that is translucent. But for Marissa, I'm going to go ahead and have it just a little bit, just a little bit of color in it. I'm going to take it on my finger. Tap it off and then look all the way up for me with your eyes. There you go. And I'm going to put that in. Let the oils of her skin, sorry, did I get you there? <laughs> Let the oils of her skin absorb that color. Absorb that powder up good. And that's why we're only doing a little bit. I'm going to add a, some more in a couple minutes, but let's go ahead and get this. Look up more for me. And that's really setting her concealer without making it cakey looking. Okay. So now I'm going to take our eye contour brush, and I'm actually going to put some on, patting it off. Oh, I got a little too much. Look up for me, and then I'm just going to put it a little bit thicker, and this is going to catch our fallout. Excellent. Now her face is already ready. She's going to go ahead and get her blush, her contour, and her eyes done. Thank you so much.